Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it. Technologic. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it. Technologic. What's up, YouTube? Happy New Year. Uh, today, the Mac App Store came out, and it's really exciting, really cool. So I'm going to open it up here for you and basically give you a quick walkthrough on what it is. Basically, if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch, this is it, except it's Mac apps. So obviously, they're a tad bit more expensive, and they're larger scale, more stuff. You have high-quality apps like Things. Then you have cooler, smaller apps like Angry Birds, except it's for Mac. So it's pretty cool. Overall, there's not a whole lot of difference between the Mac App Store and App Store for iPhone and iPod Touch. They're very similar. Uh, you have top charts, which basically the top paid, top free, just like iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, just regular App Store, the other App Store. And then categories same stuff just different there's education developer tools business stuff like that finance sports video the cool thing is you can get iMovie and iPhoto so if you don't have iLife for whatever reason if it wasn't installed on your Mac you can get these and so it's pretty cool and show your purchases and any updates that you need to get all my apps are up to date. So I'll just show you basically how this works. So I'm going to go to top free. And I'm going to download Mashable, which is a tech news uh, site, I guess. So just enter in my username and password for the regular app store just for iTunes in general and I'm going to go ahead and install this and it just pops in right in your dock right here it's pretty cool just goes right there and then also the files goes into your application so if I scroll down here you can see it's right here so it put, goes in your applications folder and to your dock for easy access and you can take it out of your dock if you want but I'm just gonna leave it in so I'm going to go ahead and launch Mashable, and whoa, that's not good. I'm trying to relaunch it. Not sure why that happened. Um, so just some tech news, cool stuff here. It's going over the Mac Store a little bit, Mac App Store. And so, yeah, they do have an article. Okay, here's the article right here, How to Fix Air 100 in the Mac App Store. And this brings me to the next topic as basically if this is popping up when you're trying to purchase an app, you haven't approved the new iTunes Store conditions and terms. So basically what you need to do is just quit this and go on your iPhone or to your iTunes and open up the new terms and conditions and agree to them and then this guy for Mashable had to restart his computer but I'm pretty sure if you just quit this app go into iTunes approve the uh, new terms and conditions you'll be fine um, I had already approved the terms and conditions before today when the Mac App Store launched so I haven't had any problems so that's pretty much it uh, I think the App Store is awesome, and it's going to make finding awesome Mac apps just a lot easier. And so, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.